So there is a new bank switching offer out in March 2024, and it is the biggest one out there. You can get the most amount of money, up to 220 quid. But it's also, I think, possibly one of the worst <laughs> offers I've ever seen in terms of the things you need to do to get the cash. It's from HSBC. I'll take you through all the stages and I also want to touch a little bit as well on what I think this could mean for other switching offers uh, later this year. So first of all, what is the deal? Now, I've written up a full analysis, the stuff I'm talking about right now, but if you want to read about it as well, over on our website, becleverwithyourcash.com. Uh, but I want to take you through each element here from that analysis. So the first thing you need to know, I say it's up to £220, but that is split into two sections. The switching bonus itself is just 100 quid, which is obviously a lot lower than other bits elsewhere. To get the big money, you need to do out of other things. But we we'll focus here, first of all, just on that initial switch, 100 pounds in cash. When you complete all the requirements, you're looking at getting the money within 30 days of that. Could be sooner, could be faster, but they're saying allow 30 days for that to happen, so potentially an another month. Um, this offer also is not open to existing customers. Uh, there are some exclusions for some ex-customers that you might be eligible for, but we'll come back to that later on. But again, sadly, if you already have an HSBC or for that matter, a first direct account, you won't be able to get it. So how do you get this initial £100? Well, like I said, there is a lot you need to do. You have to open up a new HSBC Advance or HSBC Premier account. I'm going to focus here just on the Advance account because that's the standard one, the free one, that most people will hopefully have a chance of getting. It can sometimes be when the offers have run in the past. Uh, I see over on our Facebook community. If you're not a member, do join us. Be clever with your cash.com forward slash community is the short URL. People are sort of saying they get rejected for this more than they do for any other accounts. So it's not necessarily the easiest one to get compared to other bank accounts. But out of the two HSBC offers accounts, the HSBC Advance is more likely to get. The Premier one requires you to have quite a high salary and to pay it in and all sorts of things uh, with HSBC itself. So you know, look into it if you are a high earner with lots of money. But for most of us, the Advance is the one to go for here. Once you've opened up that new account, the first thing you need to do is pay £1,500 into that account with a, within the first 60 days. It can be in one or more deposits. It doesn't have to be one big chunk. You can do small amounts if you wish. And it doesn't have to stay there either. It just has to go into the account. So if you want, you can take it back out afterwards. There's no requirement, as we saw with the recent Nat West switch offer, for it to stay in for 24 hours. It doesn't say that at all. But although, why not leave it for a day and take it out if you want to? But there's no requirement for that. You also... Uh, have to switch. The switch must, as you expect with these offers, but this one must have either two direct debits or two standing orders already on the old account. You can't set these up uh, on the HSBC Advance account itself. They have to be from the old bank you are switching for. Now, one of the perks that the HSBC account has over other switching offers is the fact that it does include standing orders. And a standing order is simply a payment that you set up from within your own current account to another current account, which could be your own savings account or another one of your current accounts. So it's much easier and faster to set up than a direct debit. So certainly if you don't already have direct debits set up on the account, I wouldn't faff around with extra ones. I would just set up two direct debits uh, and switch those ones over. Now, as part of that switch, it has to be done via the current account switching service within the first 30 days of opening the account. Okay. Uh, and this will mean the old account will close as part of that switch. Okay. So it's a full switch. When you do that, you tick that box. That is really, really, really important. And that old account must be from a different bank. Again, this is not open to existing customers. You have to open up a new HSBC account to get this. But sometimes I always get these questions. Can I switch from an HSBC account? Well, you can't. Okay. It has to be a separate different bank. Um, then these are the extra bits. That's the kind of things you always would have had with these switching offers with HSBC, give or take over the years. We've got some extra things now, which are, I think, a bit of a faff, possibly too much of a faff. It certainly would put me off doing it. Um, you have to open up an online bonus saver with HSBC and add in £50 again within the first 60 days. Now, this is a savings account that they offer. The rates are not top of the table right now, so I wouldn't be thinking about this as a good place for your savings. I would be looking at better paying accounts elsewhere. Now, myself and the team, we update on a daily basis, twice a day, becleverwithyourcash.com forward slash savings. That's where our best buy tables are. So have a look and see what's going on or look out for the monthly updates we do here on the channel and on the podcast, uh, which will kind of, again, take you through those top, top picks. But I certainly wouldn't think about using this as mainly for my savings, but you have to add 50 quid in. It doesn't have to stay there. You can take it out. Now, if you do take the money out, the interest rate does drop. But as we've established, 
it's not a great one for savings anyway. So it's just a bit of an extra faff. But this is the worst bit. New thing, spend with the HSBC debit card 20 times in the first 60 days. 20 times. Now, if you are using it as your main account, and this is, we'll come to later, what HSBC are trying to get you to do, that's not probably, might be a problem. 20 times, how often do you actually buy things in person? Could be online as well, that's fine. Spending on an online is fine. It doesn't have to be in person. But yeah, 20 times in the first 60 days uh, in order to sort of, again, be part of the requirements. Now, we'll come back to in a second, uh, a bit of a hack around this if you don't want to use it for everyday spending or you'd rather use a cashback card, but you have to do this. You also have to open the HSBC app in the first 60 days. Now, once you do all of this, so switch within 30 days, start the switch in 30 days, and then do all the other things within 60 days uh, of opening the account, then 30 days after that, you'll get the money. So if you do all of these things straight away, the day that you open it and you get that switch completing, the fastest technically is going to be uh, seven working days, so nine days, although we've got Easter coming up, which might push that a little bit for some of you. Do all of those. Then you might be able to get this uh, payment within a month and a half, maybe early. If they pay you earlier than the 30 days, even sooner. But obviously, you've got 60 days to do it. It doesn't mean you need to take 60 days. You can do all of it uh, much, much sooner. Uh, come back to that exclusion that I said about uh, for previous customers. Uh, this has changed as well. So you could not get this offer if you have had an HSBC or First Direct current account on or since the 1st of January 2019. So two things have changed here from the last time this offer ran. It used to be 2020. So they put it back a year rather than put it forward, which we hope that happens lots of offers. It's gone back a year. So less people are going to be available, able to get it. But also um, the first direct thing has been, it used to be, oh, you can't have opened a first direct account this time. No, you can't have had one. And this is going back all that time. So even if you've closed the card, it had to have been before the 1st of January 2019. So again, that will rule out a number of people. So really what they're doing here, as you can see from this particular offer, is they're making it harder for you to get the cash and they're making it uh, really for people who aren't going to be, as so many of you are, who listen to my updates on these switching deals, just doing it in order to get the cash and then going to dance off when more comes along. So that is the, the main switching offer, £100. But I said it's up to 120 yeah? Where, up to 220 sorry. Where is that extra... 120 quid coming from. Well, this is a £10 a month offer that you get. £10 in cash every month. But you have to do many of the things we've just discussed again every single month. Pay £1,500 into the account. Again, doesn't have to be in one go, doesn't have to stay there, but it has to go in every single calendar month. Pay out two direct debits or standing orders. Again, with standing orders, that's not going to be so much of an issue. You just have to make sure the money is in your account to transfer out. But could easily be that £1,500 when it goes in, those two standing orders set out, take it out to different accounts afterwards. That's easy enough to cover. £50 again into that online bonus saver. Doesn't need to stay there, but it needs to go there. Spending with that 20 uh, times on that debit card again and using the app again. Now, this stuff all has to happen uh, within a calendar month and then you'll be paid that £10 on the 20th of the following month. Um, and the, obviously the account needs to stay open in order to get that money. So uh, there's 12 months of this potentially, 10 pounds a month, 120 quid, but really you're looking at 13 months so you get that cash in order to keep in this account. But it's not quite as simple as that because you, the first month of this one starts the month after you get your 100 pounds for switching. So again, let's say you open uh, the account in March, you get that switching cash because you meet all the criteria and you manage to get that switching cash in April. Then in May, you need to do all these things. So we're adding on a couple of extra months as well. So you could easily be looking, particularly if you don't do it very quickly, the switch, take, let's say it takes you the 60 days to meet all those criteria the first time, another 90 days. We could be looking about 15, 16, 17 months that you have to keep this account before you get all of that money. So again, another reason why I'm not the biggest fan of this. This is very, very much, as I say, around uh, making you stay with the bank. And we'll talk about that again in a second. I do want to quickly touch on uh, the hack I mentioned for the debit card payments. This is the same thing that I've mentioned with uh, the Halifax reward hack and the TSB hack that we've had before as well. That spending, there are some certain things that are excluded. So you can't use it to pay off your credit card. You can't use it to um, for gambling transactions and a few other bits and pieces like that. However, you should be able to. It's not in the terms of conditions. It doesn't say you can't do it to top up Buy the debit card, not a bank transfer, remember, but buy the debit card to top up accounts like Revolut, Monzo, uh, Chip, 
other kind of savings accounts where they allow you to add money with, with a debit card. And the beauty of doing this is you are not going to be um, uh, spending money for the sake of it. You're not missing out on cash back via other cards. You're literally moving your own money, which you can transfer back to yourself. Uh, some people also slightly different to this, but they like to add money, say to Amazon, for example, as credit one pound at a time, 20 of those, because they know they're going to shop at Amazon. So you could do similar things like that with places uh, you know you're going to spend. Of course, you could always do that with a cashback card. So you're missing out on cashback with that option, but it is something you could do if you want to. I would be very careful here though, that you don't do this all in one go, all at very, very fast, uh, particularly if you're also doing it on other current accounts, because that can look a bit dodgy to those receiving banks. And I'm thinking, hey, what's going on here? Why are these small transactions happening in a really short space of time? So if you're going to do that, I would certainly space it out. Certainly wouldn't do 20 transactions in an hour. I would maybe do two or three a day and spread it over a couple of weeks, but you can do that. So that's the HSBC uh, up to £220 switching off. We don't know when it's going to end. There's no set end date. Uh, but you never know. It could be last in a couple of weeks, could last three or four months. I'll obviously, when we have news, if I have news of when it's going to close before it does, I will give you that update uh, later on. Now, I want to just finish this one very quickly. And what does this mean for future bank switching deals? And this is purely speculation, but we have seen a number of deals recently with this idea of switch and stay. The TSB and Cooperative Bank offers at the end of last year, and now this one from HSBC, making it harder for you to get the money and requiring you to stay with them for a prolonged amount of time in order to do it. This one, I think, as I say, is probably the most extreme version of this we've seen so far. 12 months at least, really, 14, 15, 16 months in order to get it and making you use the different features of the account, the debit card, the savings account, the app, all these things that you really have to be doing it. I wonder whether this might be something we see more of this year because... A lot of you guys know this kind of switch and switch and switch and switch and switch thing has been really, really lucrative and has been fantastic for so many of us. Um, but uh, it seems ridiculous. I understand why the banks want to make it harder for us because why give us cash for people just to disappear straight away? So be warned, this could be a sign that more banks start to follow this. And remember, First Direct haven't had a switching offer for a few months now. They are part of HSBC, so they may well choose to do something similar when that offer returns. I'll obviously let you know uh, if there is anything to share there. Uh, last thing to talk about here is uh, very quickly, uh, alternatives to this offer right now. I have got obviously content already. I've spoken to you guys already about the £200 offer from NatWest, the £175 offer from Lloyds Bank. The Lloyds Bank one is due to finish uh, very, very soon in late March. Uh, the NatWest one we don't know about, but I would definitely look at those ones before this one from HSBC if you're eligible. And I would also want to sort of touch something here. I mentioned that HSBC and First Direct are part of the same uh, banking group. We've already seen that you can't have this switching offer if you've already got a First Direct account. The same rules will apply when First Direct come back with their offer. If it is far more simple than this, if it isn't as complicated, then I would be tempted, even if it pays less. £175 has been the general going rate for First Direct switching deals for the last year or so. I would rather take less money and just get the cash and also have access to First Direct's 7% paying regular saver than dance through all those hoops. So what I'm probably saying is you've got the information about the HSBC switching offer. It is a lot of money if you can be bothered with all of that. Personally, I would look at alternative different banks or even hold off and wait and see First Direct come along and go for that one instead. More information about this and all other bank switching deals over at becleverwithyourcash.com forward slash banks. And you can check out these videos here for those other switching deals.